going to be ranking every single Premier League home kit. We have our tier list laid out. We are going to crown a champion kit today, but we're also going to crown our top four kits, mid-table, relegated in the bin. Every kit is getting ranked, so let's get into it. We're getting started with one of the most average-looking kits, Nottingham Forest. All right, so before I begin my rankings, I need to preface this video. I have a specific taste in kits, so this is just my opinion. Down below in the comments is where you can tell me what you think. So let's take a look at this Nottingham Forest kit. The way I rank kits is based off of their colors, the design of the kit, the placement of things such as the logo, the badge, the sponsor. Nottingham Forest this year, no kit sponsor, which I feel like a few teams don't have yet. All right, the back of this shirt, there's literally nothing. I feel like this is the most basic shirt like some of your local teams may have a better shirt than this nottingham forest one All right, i'm gonna start by putting a nottingham forest in the relegated tier that's important to note throughout this video kits can go up they can go down so although they're relegated now i feel like they have a chance to move up a little bit higher up next is west ham united and their kits are always looking the same they have the red they have the light blue Ooh, i am not a fan of that giant JD patch on the sleeve. That, ah, it's such a big patch. It just makes it look so ugly. Oh, there's a video to go along with their kit. Okay. Um, so they're just talking about the history, I'd guess, behind it. Oh, that's cool. They visited like a local pub to reveal their kit launch. I actually really, I respect that, West Ham. But like the last Nottingham Forest kit, there just seems to be no effort put in. There's a bit more effort put into this West Ham kit. Umbro is the sponsor as well. Umbro is super underrated. I love Umbro as a brand. Now it's not an insane kit. We will put West Ham's in mid table. Okay, now we're talking on to Brentford who has a sneaky, awesome kit. I, I will say I'm a bit tired of all of these betting brands being on the front of football shirts i like the b on the very back on the neck i'm not gonna lie even though it's a betting sponsor the, the star looks kind of cool in the middle dude i i don't know there's something about brentford i really like brentford just the whole b i love i love the logo i love the b man and i have brentford can i adopt brentford as my second favorite Premier league club i i love brentford got the umbro sponsor as well i'm telling you umbro is underrated you have impressed me brentford in the hunt, I think they have potential to move up to the top four. We'll see. Brighton is up next. Is this is this new? I feel like this is the same shirt from last year. Hold up. All right, here's Brighton's shirt last year. They just took away the yellow, I guess. Hey, it's all right. Um, I loved the yellow personally. I'm pretty sure I ranked last year's Brighton kit pretty high just because I was a fan of the. I like blue and yellow. That was my colors for my grade school when I grew up, and I, I just love those colors. I'm, I'm a fan this though american express is a good sponsor as well i don't think it's good enough to be in the hunt but i will put the brighton shirt mid table if you guys are watching right now as well make sure you subscribe to the second channel i'm uploading three days a week on this channel with irl football content like this let me know what you want to see subscribe and like okay back to the video crystal palace okay last year their shirt was one of my favorites i don't know what to think of this i do not know what to think of this i think i love it but i also think i hate it at the same time all right first off um we need some better pictures on the website because everything is blurred okay here we go i feel like a lot of people are gonna hate this shirt but i will say this is so unique and one thing that I love is a unique football shirt. If we go back to the Nottingham Forest shirt, it was just plain red and boring. They've actually put designs into this. They've put thought into this shirt, which I feel like is missing with football shirts nowadays. This is very bold. But because of that, I'm not putting it top four yet, but it is in the hunt. And I do think it's going to move up to my top four. We'll see what other kits we have, though. We're going for Liverpool next, who also just has a plain red shirt. Nike, bro. Nike kits. I don't know what it is, man, but I'm not a fan of Nike anymore. The kits are just, they're just so bland. Look at some other images. It's just... That's cool, I guess. It is just a plain red shirt. Hey, it looks nice, right? It's 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 a good shirt for Liverpool. It's just like, it's a bit boring for me. In terms of my style of kits, so plain. I'm going to put it mid-table for now. It's a bit better than Nottingham. Nottingham's is plain red with no designs. At least Liverpool has some like designs woven in. All right, here is Burnley's shirt, which is up next. But before we talk about Burnley's main home kit, we have to talk about the fact that their youth team's kit is sponsored by dude perfect it's actually crazy i grew up watching dude perfect when like youtube was just starting bro this was like 2000 
2009, 2007, was it 2007 their first video I remember watching? Crazy. This gives me hope that one day maybe even I can have a shirt sponsor in the Premier League. That'd be wild, but I think I got to upload a bit more. All right, back to the Burnley main shirt. Um, First off, good for Burnley. Back in the Prem. Congratulations. Always love to see teams come back up to the Prem. I'm going to personally say it's not my favorite. It's very similar to West Ham. Like, same color scheme, same sort of patterns. It's Umbro. Mid-table is going to be quite crowded with kits. It is. Um, it's a mid-table kit for me. I'm sorry. And it's behind West Ham. I'm just, I'm not a huge fan. It might even get relegated. I'm not sure. Arsenal. Okay. And I need to preface this by saying... I'm a Chelsea fan, but one thing you're going to get from me in this video is a completely non-biased view on all of these kits. I'm a Chelsea fan, and I will admit that I absolutely love the design on this Arsenal kit. These stripes, these zigzags, lightning bolts, I don't know what you want to call them. Down the middle of the kit are just, they're beautiful. I will say they're beautiful. The gold on the sleeves, oh, it's so good. We're not including the long sleeve versions because then we'd have so too much to sort through, but the long sleeve versions, insane as well. Arsenal, for me, is 100% our first top four team. And they could even move up the champion, but we'll have to wait till the end of the video to find out. Our next shirt is Sheffield United. And I also kind of forgot to mention that these kids probably look so different if you're holding them uh, in real life. But what I'm doing for this video is just going to the official store website in judging these kits off of the pictures that the clubs give us. But for some reason, this Sheffield shirt looks like a bit cartoon almost be cartoonish isn't the best word but it just it doesn't look super real like this from the back and they look a bit weird i don't know maybe it's just me cfi trade is such a weird that's a weird one that's a weird shirt sponsor to have also what brand is this Eria? does anyone know what that is i've never heard of them before in my life i mean it's better than some of these plain kits i'm i'm gonna stick it mid table it's very similar actually um to the brentford kit now that i look at it i still like the brentford one um way more but we'll put it i'll put it in front of the bright you know what it's actually not it's not as bad as i thought i'm gonna put it in front of the west ham kit for now here we go everton is up next they're still in the premier league somehow <laughs> Yo, it's really plain. Also, these pictures look so fake as well. I want to see what the... Bro, these are fake pictures. What are you doing, Everton? You're trying... Is this a scam? All right, this is better. I'm using official website pictures, but the Everton website just looked too fake. And it looks way different with the player wearing it as well. I'm trying to look at this objectively. I thought I loved it when I saw it on Everton's website. I don't love it as much now. See? They tried to scam us. I'm not letting that happen. It's definitely not relegated. It's definitely not top four. Is it in the hunt? Gosh, we just have so many mid-table teams. I keep it in the hunt for now. It's definitely going to move out. It's barely hanging on for dear life in the in the hunt category. I'm a fan of the collar, though. I'm not going to lie. I like the collar. I like the sleeves. I think it's I think it's decent. I will say there's stake.com, another one of those gambling websites I'm not a fan of. It looks okay on the shirt. Yo, Fulham, what we saying? All right, this this my boy Jared HD's club. Oh, gosh, I am having a thought about this. What is that? SBO o top? Hell is that? Fulham, don't make me do this. Look at the white and then the red on the other side. Oh, God. I hope Jared isn't watching this video. You are relegated. Relegated in our shirt ranking video, and potentially they might get relegated in real life after losing Mitrovic. All right, here's our ranking so far. We got a lot of big clubs coming up. We got Man City, Tottenham, Chelsea, United. Also, I realized um, that I've mistaken the Aston Villa kit for the West Ham kit. They, all these look the same. You better not be hating at me in the comments because look at this, man. The Villa kit, the Burnley kit, the West Ham kit, they are all, they legit all look the same. So we stop confusing people. Here is the Aston Villa kit. And wow, um, even though they all look the same, I kind of like this. They're sponsors. It looks like another betting company. What's on the sleeve? I'm not a big fan of that, but I love these patterns. I love the patterns. I'm not going to lie. This is sick. I'm sorry for mistaking you. I put you as mid-table before because I thought that was West Ham. I think you're in the hunt. I actually think Aston Villa's in the hunt. Yo, how do we feel about this Bournemouth kit? Ugh, okay, I'm thinking. I'm processing. Hold on, hold on. Let me think for a second. Another betting company on the front. <sighs> Premier League needs to stop this. They, they ruin it, man. I miss when we had... There were so many cooler sponsors back in the day. All right, some other patterns... I'm trying to look here. What do we got? The badge, the back. I mean, hey, it's decent. I think it's decent. It's not one of the worst. It's not one of the best. We are going to put a board myth here in between West Ham and uh, a little bit. Uh, no, I'm going to put it behind Liverpool. 
Yeah. No, no, no. No, no. Right there. No. Right. Right there. There we go. There's your home. So if I didn't make this clear, we're going to have one champion. We'll crown it at the end of the video. Top four is going to be four teams. So it's, I guess, the top five. But the next four teams in the hunt is going to be a few. Mid table is going to be a few. And then we'll get three relegated teams. And then one in the bin. In the bin will be awarded to the worst kit of the Premier League season. Man City. We meet again. Oh, okay. Let's zoom in here. Inside their shirt, they got the outside of the at the ad. Oh man, I am a sucker for light blue. I said this last year, man. I actually like the patterns as well. I love Puma. Puma might be Puma besides uh, besides Umbro. Puma's the most underrated. At the ad Airways as well is just such a clean sponsor. I'm a sucker for light blue, man. I'm a, I'm gonna put it right behind Arsenal. Top four though. Could it even be ahead of Arsenal? I don't know. I'm still gonna wait to decide who the champion's gonna be, but it's up there. Newcastle United. Interesting one here. I mean, obviously they're gonna go for the black and white stripes as they always do. See what else we got down here. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a Newcastle kit, man. You, you're not gonna, this is simple. This is simple from them. Nothing crazy. You know, mid table's getting crowded. It's getting very crowded. I'm going to throw it next to Liverpool. And because it's getting crowded, Burnley, you're getting knocked down to relegated at the moment. It's not looking good for these bottom three. Burnley, Nottingham, and Fulham. It's so funny because it's actually three teams that potentially are going to get relegated in real life as well. Oh, yo, hold up. This is my first time seeing the Spurs kit up and close this year. And they've put some effort into it. This is kind of cool. I'm telling you, I'm a Chelsea fan. I'm giving you guys non-biased answers here. I like this Spurs kit. I think it's a bit unique it's not just playing like the liverpool they've done they've done something with the patterns in the background i don't really know what's going on i don't know the meaning of any of it but it looks cool i said this last year as well aia no idea who they are no idea what they do but they look awesome on the front of a shirt and spurs have, they've had them for so long i'm gonna give a cookie to someone in the comments who tells me what aia stands for and what they do because i have no idea spurs i'm going in the hunt you know what we got to start moving some teams up and down crystal palace you are moved up the top you know what spurs too we have our top four. Who's going to move in? Who's going to move out? We got four shirts left. So Chelsea is supposed to be your next team, but I cannot find their shirt anywhere. You, you can't buy, you can't physically buy their shirt yet anywhere online. Oh, hold up. Is this a leak? Infinite athlete. So they're getting a shirt sponsor. They just haven't put it on yet. Is this real? Am I leaking this live? I don't like that if it's true because it's not for sale yet. We got some leaks. I've just stolen a picture from Chelsea's first match. Um, first off, this dude, Nicholas Jackson, might be my new favorite player on Chelsea. Absolutely love this man. So this is the same similar pattern as Liverpool. It's just a plain blue shirt. Nike, again, I'm not impressed with what Nike's doing with their shirts. But one thing I will say about this one, the badges in the Nike logo are like a chrome color almost, which I, I kind of like. I, it's better than Liverpool. Let's just say that. I feel like I can't give this Chelsea shirt like a proper review, man. It's definitely in the hunt. I, I definitely think it's... Man, we're putting it. I'm, I'm gonna put it in the hunt. I, I can't put it top four because it's not even an official kit yet. Like, and it's still just a stock kit. It's similar to Liverpool. I'm gonna put it in the hunt. I think it, I think it belongs there. I think it's a fair spot for the Chelsea kit. And I look at the Spurs kit and I think it might be better than Spurs. We still got three teams left, so stay tuned to see what I do. Is this the only picture they give us on the Luton Town website? This is so funny, man. Wait, what is happening? This is it. Here it is. The Luton Football Club kit. Luton. I can't believe that Luton Town are in the Premier League. It is still just wild to see them in the Prem first off. All right, let's focus on the kit here. Utilita? Life with power. Okay. You know what I'll say? Better than a betting company on the front of their shirt. Luton Town? I like it. You guys are different. It's a different looking shirt. All right, let's, let's let's review. It's better than Fulham. It's better than Nottingham. It's better than Burnley. <sighs> is it better than Liverpool? People are going to flame me for ranking Liverpool so low. That's probably... I, I think if I get any hate, it's me ranking Liverpool that low. I mean, it's it's a it's a unique kit. I'm going to put it I'm gonna put it just behind Liverpool. I personally... I like it. It should... Yeah. It would be higher, but I just can't. I can't put it ahead of anything else. We have Wolves up next. Astro Pay. Castore is their logo. I like yellow. I'm a fan of this. I'm not going to lie. Let's, let's scroll down a little bit. Let's see what else we're working with. Okay. Ash, what is Astro Pay? It's not a betting company, is it? 6686. Six, don't know what that is either. Why is this one of the pictures they're showing us? I actually don't mind this. I like the color scheme. Yellow. I'm a big fan, just in general. 
Um, we're gonna put it right here behind Brighton. And we're gonna end with Manchester United, who put themselves out a decent looking kit this year. Nice patterns in the background. I'm personally a fan of their third kit overall, all of them. Hey, here's a good look. Adidas does a good job. I personally think Adidas, um, they, they make they make some of the best kits. It's them, Puma, it's Umbro. Those are my top three. Ooh. It better than Chelsea. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it ahead of Chelsea. I think. Wow. Have I ranked this Aston Villa one too high? You know what? I don't think I have. I like it. Aston Villa then will sneak into our top four because one of these top four teams will be crowned the best kit in the Premier League. But before that, we are crowning the worst kit in the bin, which means Bournemouth is also gonna move down to our bottom. And ladies and gentlemen, can we get a drum roll? The worst kit of the Premier League season is Fulham. I am sorry. It is, it's really bad. <laughs> and now it is time to crown the best home kit of the 2023-2024 Premier League season. Our contenders, Arsenal, Manchester City, Crystal Palace, Spurs, and Aston Villa. But hold on, I'm getting word from the booth. VAR is coming into play. One of these teams does not belong and is getting removed. Yes, VAR, which is VAR is just me. Spurs. I, I don't know how they snuck in there. I don't know how I snuck them into top four, but I, I don't think they belong. Manchester United or Chelsea is getting upgraded. Chelsea's kit just isn't official yet. United is getting promoted into the top four kits. And the winner of the best kit of the 2023-2024 season is... Congratulations to Arsenal. You have the best kit. Yes, I can admit that Arsenal has the best kit of the season. It is, it is a good looking kit. I'm not lying. It's a... It's the winner. That's it for the video. Let me know if you guys want me to rank Premier League away shirts. If we can hit 10,000 likes on this video, I'll do that. Let me know what other leagues as well. Shirts you want to see ranked and click here to watch another shirt ranking video. See you boys for the next one.